Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence and honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few, brothers and sisters. listening and also learning across the globe in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say Tawadi Yahawah, Tawadi Yahawah by Sham, Yahawah Shai, for giving me another day to teach his word in the hopes of being saved within these last days. So we're going to start with Timothy's. This is Timothy's 2. And four, I charge thee therefore before the Most High, and the Lord Jehovah Mashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead. So yeah, yeah, I was just going to judge the quick. Who's the ones that are quickened? Those that have been woken up to this truth. And the dead. Those that are without the truth. Okay. At his appearing and his kingdom. That's why we want to be right. We want to be right. With Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse 2. Preach the kingdom. So that I can preach the word. Which is the kingdom. This word is the kingdom. Preach the word. Okay. Be instant. In season. Out of season. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Preach this word. Be in season. Out of season. Whatever weather. Okay. Whatever the weather. We have to teach this word. Okay, it's a commandment. In season, out of season. S um, what's it? Rain, snow, sleet. And speaking of rain, Passover, that Passover, which was still in the period of Passover, this is Feast of Unleavened Bread. It was raining, um, like blood. It was like raining blood. There was like some, it's crazy. Okay, so there's all types of things happening. All types of signs that Yahweh Shai is showing us in these last days. Okay. And it says, be instant. So continually teaching this word, continually ministering. You can't be preoccupied with this world because this world is going to vanish. Right? We have to be preoccupied with this truth. Because this is what's going to stand. Everything is going to fall. This is going to stand. Okay. And it says, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort. All right, with all long suffering and doctrine, and that's one of the most important things right now. The doctrine, okay, and it's one truth, and it's a hundred percent. Because if we didn't have a hundred percent truth, I wouldn't be able to be out here and minister. Because then you wouldn't know what you're talking about. Then you wouldn't be confident. Okay? So it takes studying. We have our elder apostles that teach us. But within that, you have to study. Give just a study to show thyself approved. You have to study this word. You have to inquire. Okay? You have to search diligently what these words are saying. And apply them. Okay? And it says, For the time will come and they will not endure sound doctrine so what keeps us sound it's the word it says sound doctrine so without the doctrine you're not sound okay without this doctrine you are not sound you're unsound okay and that's why what people come into this truth and they end up what bugging out they have a problem with the israelite foreigners and the 12 tribes sign because they're not sound in the doctrine. Then they start teaching you what? Haplo group and all that rubbish. That's Esau's so-called science. 
It's rubbish. Okay? That has nothing to do with the truth. But this is what happens when you don't stick with what? The correct breakdowns. Okay? For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine. They were not going to stay and stick with what they were taught. We need to stick with what we were taught. Okay? But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So that was going to happen in these last days. You were going to have teachers. Okay, heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So you were going to have whole bodies of men that were just teaching the wrong thing. They're all believing something different. That's why you have, yeah, you have camps that are in the right spirit and you have reprobate camps. You have reprobate camps teaching. Because they're not if they're not teaching you the right thing, they're reprobates. Okay, it's as simple as that. It's one doctrine, one faith, one body. Anything outside of that is confusion. Okay? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. So that's, you're going to see that happening. And it always happens during what, this, this um, season, the Passover, it always happens. Okay? They shall turn their ears from the truth. So soon you're going to have men that, they're going to say they don't even believe in the Bible. Right? Because this is about an elect, we're not here for everyone. It's about an elect remnant that are going to get this word. Okay? And they shall turn their ears away from the truth. So they're gonna, they were going to be hard, hard of hell. They were going to be stubborn to the truth. And shall be turned unto fables. Fables is what? Full stories. Christmas. Worshipping of Halloween. Okay. Birthdays. They may believe in um, Greek mythology. You know some people actually believe in these Greek stories, it's mythology because it's stories, it's made up. But you're going to have people that what? Turn to these things, okay? Fables, because of their own vain imagination, because they were not grounded in the truth. That's why the scriptures talk about being grounded and rooted in the faith. So if you're grounded and rooted, whatever you see, whatever full doctrine, that's not going to move you because you're grounded in the faith, you're grounded in the word. But if you're not, you're going to be in that spirit. Well, if, if, I'm, if, 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 if this is right, no, you've got to be certain. Not no if, buts and maybes, you have to be certain. This is the truth. This is the truth. So now we're going to go to John. We have to warn our people. This is John. And we're, we're warning those that are going to receive it. Whoever don't receive it, they don't receive it. We're warning those that receive it. Whoever don't receive it, too bad. This is John 10. And again, you may think, well, no one's listening. No, people are listening. Okay? Don't be swayed by the incredulity and the unbelief of people. People are listening. And the scripture says, you prophesy unto the wind. If no one's listening, you prophesy unto the wind. And the scripture says, beware what you say, because the birds can carry that message. So even the birds are listening to what we're saying and carrying what that message. Okay? So our words, it doesn't go out on deaf ears. Scripture says that in Isaiah 55 and 11. This word shall not go out void. Okay? Let's go to John 10. Verily I say unto you, he that entereth in by the door, not by the door. So, what are you going to find out? Not everybody entered into this truth the right way. And the elder apostles have even said it. In every camp, in every single camp, you have agents, you have spies, you just have men that are not right. In every camp. Okay? Into the sheepfold. But you're supposed to go into the sheep. So if you come up some other way and into the sheepfold, guess what? You're, you're what? A wolf. Okay? Because that's what a wolf would do. The wolf wouldn't come into this truth by the correct means. But climbing up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. So yeah, you have robbers and thieves in this truth. They came in another way. 
They didn't come in the right way. It's not like they were out where the birds are fighting. It's, it's not like they were outside of a camp listening and learning and being inquisitive, really taking in this knowledge. That's why you've got to be aware who you let in your camp. You don't just let anyone. You test them out first. You test out their spirit with what? The scriptures. All right, do they believe it? Do they believe in the 12 tribes? Right, do they believe in this? Do they believe in that? That's what you do. You test them by the words. And if they have a problem with the word, well, they gotta go. You don't, you don't have them hanging around because now, what, your camp's infiltrated with men that are not right. But that's all right anyway, because Yahweh is gonna separate the, the wheat from the tares. And it says, but he that entering, entering by the door, by the door. See that, that rightful passage, okay, is the shepherd of the sheep. And Yahweh is that door. Right? So if anyone enters by that door, he's the shepherd of the sheep, the true shepherd. He ain't a rubber, he ain't a thief. To him the parts are opening. And the sheep hear his voice. And he called his own sheep by name. So it says by name. Okay? So he even recognizes. The shepherd even recognizes the sheep, and the sheep recognizes the shepherd. Okay? And the sheep hear his voice, and call him out his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Why? Because they're attentive to his words. They trust him. You're not going to trust a man that's teaching false doctrines, or that's sold out, or that's doing the bidding of Esau, you're not, you're not going to trust him with your life. Okay. And it says, excuse me. And it says, and a stranger, and when he put forth his own sheep, lets them go. Okay. He goeth before them. And the sheep follow him. For they know his voice. Because they recognize his voice. And have, you ever, have you ever been around sheep? You may try to get next to them or call them. If they don't recognize you, they, they won't come over to you. They have to recognize you, right? They have to trust you. So it's the same with us, okay? People have to trust you. For you to, to, you, for you to be a leader, you need to be trusted, okay? You need to be trusted. And not all our people can be trusted with this word. Okay, and it says, And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. The scriptures let us know. They were going to flee from the stranger. Hold on a minute. Suffocate right. This guy, he's, I believe he's sold out. He took a bag. He's teaching a different doctrine. So you're going to flee from someone like that. You're not going to stay around. Okay, we'll flee from him for they know not the voice of strangers. Okay, this parable spake Yahushua unto them, but they understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. When said Yahushua unto them again, verily I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. So Yahushua is that door. Okay, the only way you're getting in is through him. No other way. The only way is through Yahweh Shai. Anything outside of that, you're not getting in. Okay? It's just like a club. If your name ain't written down, okay, you're not getting in. So it's the same with this word. Okay? And it says, All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. Right? But the sheep, did not hear them. Okay, so all that ever came before me were thieves and robbers. And the sheep did not hear them. Not that Lewis Father Khan, he never brought you salvation. These false prophets, these false pastors, 
the true sheep, they're not, they're not going to hear them. When it says the sheep never heard them, the hopeful are left. Because those that do get swayed by these other philosophies and so forth, they were not of the elect. Because they wouldn't have been caught out. The scripture says if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? And it says, see that persuasion, all that persuasion and that witchcraft and that sorcery, that's only going to work against those that have not studied the scriptures. Right? You've got a lot, I'm telling you, you're going to find that there's a lot of men that are set up to lead you astray. Okay? And it says, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture. Bear me just a minute. And when you go to Psalm 24, it says, quickly go to that. To go in and out and find pasture because we're all being fed okay Psalms 23 the Lord is my shepherd so we have a shepherd and that shepherd is Yahweh Shai okay I shall not want so we're not going to be desirous of carnal dainties of carnal things okay I shall not want we're not going to be covetous Okay. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. What to eat? Okay, the green pastures is the word. That's what we're eating. Okay. He leadeth me beside still waters. Okay. So the still waters is running waters. So he's he's leading his men beside still waters, running. And running water is very peaceful. Okay. Running water is very peaceful. Okay. So this is what? The still waters. And what that means, guess what? This word, that's represent of what? Peace. Running waters, what does it give us? Peace. Okay. And the running waters is also what? Yes, the knowledge. Okay. The knowledge, the wisdom. He restoreth my soul. So we're restored every day by this word. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So the hopeful like they're, they're being led in that path to righteousness, to be better, to be purified in Yahweh's sight. Not in not more so, not in men's sight, because men can never be satisfied. Men will always find the problem, men will always find fault. Yet yeah, now I walk for the valley of the shadow of death. And again, the valley is America. It's a low land and also different parts of the earth. Because you have the elect that are scattered, not just in America, everywhere. Okay, so don't we walk for the valley of the shadow of death? And what does the shadow do? It's what? It's um, a reflection. Okay. Just like now I'm teaching, I see a shadow of myself on the floor okay so we're in the what the shadow of death i will fear no evil so we're not supposed to fear evil the wicked they're supposed to be fair and evil because they're wicked and when you do wickedly that's what you're going to receive evil but if you're doing the right thing you shouldn't fear evil that are with me okay see how shy he's with us they rot and they stop they comfort me, right? Which is this word, okay? And back then the prophets also had staffs. Moses had a staff. This word, this is our staff, okay? That prepared us a table before me in the presence of my enemy. So they see us eating, okay? Because we've got many enemies. That are not, and the enemies is what? The house of Sal. And the house of Sal is carnal. They're not spiritual. They're carnal. The house of David is a spiritual house. Okay? We let the words do the talking. We, we let the word come out. We're not supposed to be a carnal group. We're not supposed to be exhibiting carnal traits. Right? And it says, 
that anointed my head with oil. King, King, um, King David, he was anointed. Saul was rejected. His spirit was taken from him, right? And he lost the plot. The evil spirit overtook him, okay? Now anointed my head with oil. And the oil, yeah, it was physical oil. But there's also sort of oil, which is what this word. Okay. My cup runneth over. And that's why certain brothers, it's like, again, to be teaching day in, day out, always have another topic. And it always comes out a different way. Why? Because Yahusha has anointing you with the oil. The anointing. Okay. My cup runneth over. And that's how it is. I can't speak for all. But my cup runneth over. It's an aboundment of knowledge. That's what Yahweh gives to you when you're sincere about this truth. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So that's the expectation we are got to have. So we're back on John 10 to warn you. Because Yahweh Shai and Paul, they were warning you of what you're going to have in these last days. You were going to have false prophets. You're going to have those, you're going to have those that were serving their own belly and not Yahweh Shai. Hey, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahweh Shai. And it says, the thief cometh, not but for to steal, okay? And to kill, and to destroy. So when you think about that, yeah, you think about, yes, Esau, because how did he get everything he got? By those means, stealing, killing. But also you have men, they're trying to steal and kill and to destroy what you work for. But nobody else can do that. Okay? This is your journey. Okay? It's your gift, it's your talents. Yahushua has given you them talents. All the labor you've put in, the angels have stacked that up. So nobody can take that joy away from you, no one. Because Yahweh has given you what? The gift of faith. But the scripture said that would happen. Remember what the scripture says, there was five wise and five foolish. You have the foolish virgins and you have the wise virgins. Okay? The wise virgins, they laid these words to heart, to mind. The foolish virgins, they never laid these words to heart, to mind. Because they never believed in the first place. This was just a get together. Okay? That's all it was. And men like that, you see the spirit starts to get what stripped from them slowly. They start losing what parts of the doctrine. Okay? And it says. Where was I? Where was I? That they might have life more abundantly. See how I came? So his elect will have life more. Abundantly. Because that's the only way you have life, through your Abishai. Esau ain't gonna give you life, because all he does is promote death. So the only form of life you're gonna get, you're gonna attain, is through the scriptures. Anything outside of that is death. I am the good shepherd. So Yahabashai, he was an example of how to be. He set that example. Right? The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. So that means making sacrifices, sacrificing your time, right? Sacrificing your time for what the hopeful will let, more so for your have a shine, because he sees that. He sees the effort brothers are putting in. And the script, remember what the script says, your labor is not in vain, okay? That's if you endure. If you don't endure, then your labor will be in vain. Okay? The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But he, that is a highly. 
And a hireling ain't necessarily a bad thing. Okay? But a hireling, you have those that are hired by your have a shire that are going to teach this word without being compromised. Alright? That would be a good hireling. From, sent from your Abishai. But he does as a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own sheep are not. So the sheep don't even belong to a wicked hireling. It doesn't even belong to them. Okay? Whose own sheep are not. See if the wolf coming. So when it says, see if the wolf coming, coming with what? False philosophy, okay? Telling you you can take the mark of the beast. That's a false shepherd, right? That's a false shepherd, you're right there, mate. That's a false shepherd. Yeah, right, how you doing? You're right, you wanna hear this word? How you doing? You seem pissed off. I've got the word for you. You wanna hear this? Not online, but yeah. Not online? Hear this word, man. Where are you from? Yeah. Where? Where's your father? Yeah. Ireland. Yeah. 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 Britain. Okay. So what do you want to know? I've got the gospel. If you descend from these tribes, right here, there's salvation for you. Repent. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We ain't got long. Okay? Repent, come back to Yahweh Shai, who's a dark skinned man, and receive, you receive mercy. If you don't, you're gonna die with the beef out here. Okay? I've got, I've got all the time, I've got all the time in the world. I've got all the time. No, because I'm in the middle of something right now. I need to feed the stuff. So if you've got anything, speak. Speak. I'm lying, bro. Speak, man. I'm lying, bro. How comes? How comes? My problem is right now, I'm bad, bro. Expound. Expound. Is it that bad? That's why That's why the word's here. This is the comforter. I've got something. Bear me just a minute. Was it family? Oh, I've got something. I've got something. Oh, no. So, Lord, he came for the sick. Right? And our people are sick. Right? And we need a healer. And who's our healer? You have a shy. Okay? I've got something. Bear me just a minute. Alright, alright. Go to Luke. This is Luke 1. Luke 1 and. Let's go to all right. Let's go to Luke one and seventy-seven to give them to give knowledge of salvation and to His people and the remission of sins. So do you know what remission of sins means? Forgiveness of sins. So who does that come from? Right, the one. His name is Yahweh Shai. Right, remission of sins through the tender mercy of our power, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us. The day spring is Yahweh Shai. And he's visited us with this word. Okay? And the tribe grew. Maybe just a minute. And to give them light that sit in the darkness. Because this is the valley of the shadow of death. Anything can happen. I was saying that previously before you came. This is the valley of the shadow of death, beginning with America. And everywhere we are, I've got a shadow right now. I can see your shadow. So wherever we are, there's death that follows. But we have life through this word. You have to believe that. Okay? And give light to them that sit in darkness and the shadow of death. So this is the light. Okay? And it says to guide our feet in the way of peace. So this is what guides us in the way of peace. Right? And the child grew and was strong in the spirit and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Israel. You know who this is speaking about? John the Baptist. He was preaching, you know about John the Baptist? He's preaching in the desert. Right? 
all went to be taxed, everyone in his own city. And Joseph also went from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, because that's where Yahweh was brought up. Nazareth, okay? And it says into Judea, the city of David, which called Bethlehem, right? Because he was in the house of the lineage of David. So now, we're gonna get something else, right? So that's, we got something. This is Psalm 106 and four, right? Remember me, O Lord Yahweh Shai, with favor. So whatever you're going through, you've got to remember Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because in this world, many people, they have incredulity. They don't believe this word. Okay? Keep faith. Oh, you got your beads. You got your beads. You're Irish. You're Irish. You're Irish. That's good. You got your beads. All right. Remember me, O Lord Yahweh Shai, with favor. Thou that bearest unto thy people, visit me with our salvation. Okay, I know you're having, I can see you're having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. How do you think I feel? Yes. You know? But you know what, I've got, I've got something, I've got something. I've got problems. How to deal with anger as well. Because that's something that, it has to be controlled. The scripture says you can be angry, I've got something, I've got something, bear me just a minute. Alright, I've got something for you. This is Proverbs 14 and 27. The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life. So this fear in Yahweh Shai, excuse me, fear in Yahweh Shai, that's what keeps us what? Grounded. And that's what gives you long life. Even though we don't want to be here for too long, we want to be beamed up in them chariots, right? The fear of the Lord is the fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. So that's how you depart from the snares of, from the traps of death, through this word. In the multitude of people, the king is honor, but in the want of people is the structure of the prince. He that is slow, slow to wrath is of great understanding, right? So you've got to exercise. Thank you. All right, man. Yeah, that's not for me today. Yeah? Uh, I'll think about your words. Bro. But you know what? You wanted, there was something you wanted, there was something, there was something you wanted to say. Because I know you were festering. Is there something you want to... Uh, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that with, with myself. Hold on a minute. All right. So where was we? We're on John. This is John 10. Bear me just a minute. This is John 10, and we're going to go to 12. But he that is a hireling, right, and not the shepherd, whose own sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, right? Leaveth the sheep and fleeth, right? So again, a hireling, okay, is what? Someone that's sold out. Someone that ain't really about the word, okay? And the wolf catcheth for him and scattereth the sheep. So that's what the wolf is set up to do, okay? To scatter the sheep, to not warn you of what's about to happen. We're here to warn you, okay? And see, people are the, people are the, people are distressed, okay? You, you're gonna get you're gonna get people that come up. You don't know, it's probably another, you never know. It's probably another individual in the truth that probably sent him, but it is what it is, okay? And it says, and the hireling flee him, because he is a hireling, and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and I am known of mine, okay? As the Father knoweth me, so Yahweh Shai, he knows his sheep. Okay? Yahweh Shai, he controls everything. Okay? He controls man. He controls what they think. Okay? He controls everything. He controls the good. He controls the evil. Right? This is why the scripture says in Matthew 10 and 16, Be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, 
right? And it says, Bear, bear me just a minute. I am the good shepherd and I am known of my sheep. I am known of mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so I know the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. Okay, so that's what we're here to do, right? In all types of situations, right? You're gonna get people that come up, they're having a hard time, they're very hostile, but you gotta know how to deal with them, right? How to operate with people, okay? As the Father knoweth me, even so, I know, I, the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Okay? So the other sheep that were not of this fold, who are they? Israelites. The natives. Right? And also the Israelite foreigners. Right? Excuse me. Another sheep I have which are not of this fold. Then I move I must sing. And there you shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. So that's what we're going to do. Teach this word, preach the gospel. Okay? That's what we're going to do. Check the time. Time's running out. Bear me just a minute. I want to try and get this to go to an hour. Right? But the scripture says you're going to have that. Let's go to Psalm 38 and 31. The law of Yahweh Abishai is in his heart, mind. None of his steps shall slide. Okay? None of his steps shall slide. Because he's grounded in Yahweh Shai. His steps are sure. Right? Very just a minute. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. So yeah, you're going to have that again, you're going to have that happening. You're going to have the wicked that watch our videos and they feel a particular way. Right? The Lord will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he's judged. Right? So the scripture says, the hopeful elect, they were not going to be left in the hands of the wicked to be judge of the wicked. Because Yahweh Shai, he's the ultimate judge. Right? And he pleads what? The cause of his elect. You know? That's why, again, you've got to be wise. We're in a very, very heavy, heavy time. Very heavy time. Okay? Wait, because the scriptures talk about the accuser of our brethren in Revelations. The accuser of our brethren. Okay, that accuses us day and night before the Heavenly Father. So you got those that are praying, okay, to Yahweh Shai to destroy us. You got that going on, you got those that are praying to demons. Okay? This is the light, and not everybody can receive this light. Only a remnant. And it says, wait on the Lord and keep his way. So we've got to continue to keep his way. To keep his word. And he shall exalt thee. Right? To inherit the land. See, I was trying, ultimately, he's going to exalt thee. Right? And it says, when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. So we're going to see the destruction of our enemies. We just have to teach the word and be what? Faithful. Okay? And it says, wait, see, I'll keep on saying, we're not a carnal group, we're spiritual men. Okay? And it says, I've seen the wicked in great power. And right now, yes, the wicked, are in great power, okay? The wicked are in great power. So 
So how are the wicked going to come out of power? Through Yahweh Shai. Through this word. And spreading himself like a green bay tree. So that means the wicked are everywhere. Okay, the philosophies, the ideologies, 